right. We are at a church and we have the healer. And you are like over the top. It's like, hallelujah. You are going to walk again. Ah, I'm screaming, yes? That's what it's all about. Let me hear your faith. There you go. So, Savannah, one leg is shorter than the other. One leg is all broken. One leg has pins in it. Maybe you were hit by a car, crushed by a school bus. Maybe your dad ran over you with a tractor or a golf cart, something. Okay, now we have Lily. You are like me, and I was this for a day. You are paralyzed from the neck down. Now, Hannah, you're her caregiver, so there's nothing really wrong with you, but you have to carry her around the entire time. Presley, you were deaf. You cannot hear, but you hear noises, like screeching, horrible noises in your ears, so when people are talking, it amplifies into your ears, and it's like horrible screeching constantly. Sarah and Janina, you're the blind leading the blind. So you have your hand out in front of you, like to push anything away or furniture or whatever other way, and you have your hand on her shoulder and you're blind, but you're still feeling, like you're not trusting the shoulder, you're still feeling for yourself where you're gonna go. So let's go. I love theatrics. You know, you see it on TV sometimes and you see this faith healer up there and he is hallelujah and amening all over the place and suddenly the blind can see the deaf can hear, people can walk again. Kids are gonna have to be little actors and actresses again to be able to pull it off. Well, it could easily just look silly. Yeah. I mean, they're all trying to impress Miss Abby and prove to her that they deserve to be here. Somebody's leaving. Is anybody safe? I don't think any of them think they're no. safe. What, what, what is that? What are you doing? Just because you're blind doesn't mean you have to be angry and flex foot all the time. Okay, uh, put, put your hands. I'm going to work with the deaf kid. Go ahead. Put your hands here. I want to see what kid standing in front of me really wants to entertain the audience, not the judges. And that's a big difference. You hear something, you hear something, you hear something. Yeah, yeah, you hear it. You're, ah! Right. OK? Yes. Somebody's going home. Let them realize that they should have been a little bit more grateful for this opportunity. Hinge. Oh, Jesus. No, it was really funny. It was like she was doing one of those chest exercises and she found what he wasn't there. Abby's just laughing away. If it was anybody else, she'd be screaming at them. It's completely unfair. I think that if Brady wasn't here, that things would be more evenly distributed between the girls. There's no doubt that it would be better for Lily. But I am the ball, boy. I am the ball. Yes? Taking the stage right now, ladies and gentlemen, would be entry number 88. Here they are with the healer.
What was going on on that stage? That is not the Lily that I know. Not the Lily that I've worked with for years. Missing a side aerial, and now she's messed up the group routine. I fell out of my side aerial because if I were to do it, then it would have kicked Presley in the face. After the three weeks we've done this, I think everyone knows that this is the week that wasn't the best. We're going to have bad weeks. There's going to be bad weeks. And we all messed up, so she can't but what just happens? pick on one of us. We well, all didn't well, do well, our best. Well, we can't really pick on me, because I'm the one who literally screwed up the whole dance. We're not going to screw up anything. Really I didn't do the side aerial against anything. But you're too close to the wing. And I'd rather have you not do it than hurt no, someone. No, she'd rather me just kick someone else. Mom was positive, and I was in the spacing. Stop, please. Mom, just kick someone else. Okay. Mom, please. 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 Mom, Lily screwed up the dance. Big. The only way this group has a shot in hell on winning is if the judges were looking at Brady. And your highest scoring group for the entire day. The Healer from Abbey Lee Dance Company. Congratulations, dancers. Take a bow on three. One, two, three, and take a bow. Excellent job. Give it up for them one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's a good thing that I changed the bad side side area on Brady to go all the way over to stage left so that nobody saw Lily over on stage right. So we should all thank Brady. Well, congratulations. You guys should be thrilled that that group won because there was a lot of mistakes. Why does somebody who can do a side area blindfolded in her sleep miss it? I was either going to injure someone else or injure myself because I was too close to Presley. And if I would have done my sign, I would have kicked her face. And then if it went on the diagonal, I would have kicked the curtain. So I decided not to hurt anyone else. She thought she ruined the group dance, and she was shook, being called jealous of her teammate. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Lily, I didn't call you jealous. I, 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 didn't, I didn't. Abby did because you guys kept talking about it, so then Abby thought that I was jealous, and I wasn't. And it got really annoying. Okay, what does this have to do with the side aerial and the spacing? It should have absolutely nothing. Because if you're gonna be a pro, you could sit next to somebody and do your makeup that hates your guts. And you still have to go out on that stage and do the job that people are paying for a ticket to see. I don't want crying kids. You are a lucky little girl to be here, and all of you are. So this crap has to stop. If it's gonna rattle you that much, something that I said or I did or blah, 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 blah. Either A, toughen up, B, let it go in one ear and out the other, or C, you're not cut out for this. Kids, out of the room, right now. Go on out with Lily. Go, out. Go, go, out. Go, go out the door. Go on, go on, out the door. Okay. We'll get that later. We'll get you in a sec. People thrive on somebody else being upset and somebody else having their feelings hurt. You all know that. But the carrying on and the crying and the chaos when I hear all this crap going on, that's when I have to rethink the casting, and I don't know if everybody really belongs on this team. These mothers are such fools. They claim and claim and claim that they are not jealous of Brady. In the meantime, their jealousy is eating everybody in this room alive. I don't know what you have an issue with me about, and you are on my case. I didn't even speak to you today, and you're all over my case, and you purposely do it when Abby comes in the room. You know what Abby does. She takes it out on your kid, OK? I didn't think she would get upset about it. Why? Well, you threw Abby something Miller? less yesterday than they all did 50 push-ups. Why wouldn't you think that would happen today? And why just me? What about her, 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 her? Everyone's because... nodding. Everyone's nodding. You try to make me look bad. You get my kid yelled at. It's your fault. Deal with it. You're jealous. So freaking ridiculous. So ridiculous. Well, that's her prerogative. She can do that if she wants. I don't want to be here anymore. And everyone's yelling at me and telling me that I'm jealous of everyone. And I'm done with it. OK, then let's leave. <laughs>